Libra, Libra, this is for you, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is for the month of September. Here we go. Yes, we did Virgo. We just did it. You might have heard it, Shelby. All right. Okay. So this is for Libra. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. I'm going to say that there's, if you have a, a young children or even young adult children, you may have some issues coming up for them that are really going to strike your chords, uh, worrying you, concerning you. Um, there could be some sort of, uh, how do I put that? Even some sort of abuse that has happened. Which sort of reminds me of another Libra friend whose um, son was run down by his ex-girlfriend and literally run, in, run down with a car. So stuff like that. So, you know, if it's about your kids, we want to check in with them, make sure they're okay, make sure that, you know, they may be really feeling disorientated and um, discombobulated. Uh, the other thing is if there's... Uh, any of your children are not behaving in a normal way or somehow depressed or sad, anything like that, I really want you to check in with uh, with them, those children and maybe get some assistance to see what's going on so you can sort of reach, a, um, reach them at the deepest level. About the fool. That's my, that's my favorite guy in the whole deck. What's your like card? That's me. In many ways, um, or at least what I strive to be, and it's obviously being my favorite card. I've really read into it, and um, a lot of this card is truly saying that you need to trust that the universe is going to prevail and bring you that perseverance and well, the help that you need, and and to truly have faith. It's a difficult thing, um, and you know, there's the, faith is a word that's thrown around a lot. So to clarify what I mean, it's it's trusting that that flow of the universe is going to take you well where you feel you need to be, and it's going to bring you to a place where you are protected and looked after, and and that you do have the tools that you need, even if you don't feel you do. Um, so especially to couple that with, with the vibration of what my mother said, I would say that the most important thing you can do here is also, you know, if, if you're wondering or worried to really take a leap of faith and, and make sure you ask the questions that you feel are hard to ask in your heart, or maybe that it would be hard to have a, a, an answer come through on. Um, and to really trust that, you know, if if your if your feelings are right, then the right things will come out and it will leave space for that faithful energy, that that guidance to come through and, and that you will be able to do something about what's going on in your life here. So lastly, I'll, I'll speak quickly about this card in the new vision, just so you guys see it, because I was looking for it. It's one of my favorite cards. It has a volcano erupting in the background. That volcano erupting in the fool. There's a part of that energy that's that's truly ready to, to just break free and, and explode into itself. And... I promise you that if you put your faithful energy into spirit and you put your faithful energy into that fool, into that child, into that situation, into whatever you're going through, that you have the power to get through it. Mm -hmm. I agree. And to also add that this could also be your child within. The child within you may need to take a leap of faith. The child within you may need to review the things in your past that aren't healed, that haven't been resolved. And as Skyler said, take a leap of faith and let it explode and become the true you. 